Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. We are standing at the ANA Airplane Maintenance Center getting ready to see how they do things here at ANA and make awesome planes. I hear drilling outside. Are you guys ready to go see? Yeah. 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 Woo. Let's go. All right, they are working on a plane behind me. This is the Haneda Airport, and there are seven airplanes that can fit in this one hangar. As you can see, they already have one in for maintenance, and I just thought it was really cool how they have the tail worked in. They, they've thought of everything. It's fitted into all the different levels. Very, very cool. All right, let's go see what else we can do. I got to come down on the floor to really see it in action. Now, the two planes that are here in the maintenance facility have been here for 10 days and two weeks, so that got me wondering how often they actually service these planes. They go in for regular maintenance service every six months, and depending on the plane, like the 767, it can take up to two weeks for that simple maintenance, and they come in for a heavier duty maintenance every four years. Now later, we're actually going to be flying on the 787 Dreamliner. I'm so excited about that. And that is made out of composite material like carbon, which means it'll require less maintenance over time. But don't worry, they are taking precautions and servicing them more often. But the plane is digitally smarter, so it'll actually tell them what's wrong with the plane more so than the planes do currently. I love that we can get down and dirty to see what goes into the maintenance of these planes, and I see some women working down there. Go women! <laughs> All right, well, we are done with the tour. The scale of the facility is just overwhelming. It's truly impressive. Thanks so much to a a for taking their time to show us around and let us wander around and see the amazing planes in, uh, in maintenance. So thank you guys for watching. More coverage from Japan at geekbeat.tv. Bye.